Hello, YouTube world. My name is Claire, and I've been wanting to make some videos about my photo work, video work, what inspires me, and just life in general, and just never got around to doing it or got the time to doing it. I'm actually leaving for college in less than a month. When I was a freshman, I started a list of lessons I learned in high school. Every single day I learned something new, I would write it down and add it to my list. I thought that this might be something that's interesting for kids who are in the middle of transitioning from middle school to high school or are in the process of high school right now. Here are some tips that I learned and things that I valued the most out of my entire high school career. Freshman year, you're brand new and there's a lot of people and people look like old men and it's really scary and um, <laughs> But fear not. Uh, the first thing that I said that I learned was don't close yourself off to those who are different than you or you think you don't want to talk to because they might look different than you or act different than you or like different things. That's not necessarily always true. There are wonderful people everywhere you go. You really just need to allow yourself to be open to them. Um, welcome people with open arms and they will do the same to you. Um, and if they don't, then that's okay, then you learned. Two, you can't run away from people you don't like. If you have a teacher you don't like, don't drop out of that class just because of that. You're gonna be facing people you don't care for your whole life, you might end up working with some of them, but you're going to have to learn to coexist with people that you may not necessarily always agree with. Learning how to push through will allow you to become a stronger person in the end. Three, listen to yourself not what others tell you to do. Do what's right for yourself, not others. The first initiation comes from you in just being yourself and not necessarily having to conform to the crowd of people around you because there's a lot of them and sometimes they're doing things you don't necessarily feel comfortable with. Staying true to yourself and making sure you're following your own values will really clarify your passion and your voice throughout the four years, which is a huge part of high school and it'll be easier for you if you maintain your own unique approach to it all. Sophomore year is a little bit different. You're sunk in now. You're not the new kids. The first thing that I found out when I became a sophomore was people completely change as do you. Um, people who are even your closest friends may act differently towards you, but you really can't take this personally or feel bad about this because it's okay. Everyone's going through changes at this time and trying to figure out who they are. That's the whole point of high school. You're finding your voice, you're growing up. Everyone's changing, everything happens for a reason, and people have cycles. Another thing is you're really the only person that is gonna make yourself happiest. For example, one could have everything in the world and still find a million reasons that life is against them, while another could have nothing but think their life is the most beautiful blessing. So learn the difference in perspective. Most importantly, learn the advantages in having a positive perspective. Never, ever, ever try to erase someone from your memory. There really are exceptions to this, uh, especially when it comes to certain relationships and friendships that are abusive. However, for things that are just kind of have a silly and annoying fallout, the past really isn't something that you can erase. However, it is something that you can learn and grow from. Some relationships aren't always meant to work out on purpose, and some people are simply not meant for each other, and that is just it. But with this, if a person has helped you find what you may not want in another one, or may want in another person, then that should be something that you appreciate and accept. And instead of hating the reasons why you split off, learn from them. If you maintain connections, rather than try to cut that off with someone who once was so special to you and you shared so many things with, especially if it's intimate, you'll experience a new type of relationship, strength between two different people who were able to still remain close on a whole nother level. And uh, that's really the best kind of relationship there is. When you can maintain that, it's so nice instead of feeling like you hate this person who's walking through the halls by you every day. Junior year. Okay, my camera battery just died. Wow, I'm being blinded by the sun. Okay, junior year. It may sound hard, but being a social person is much easier than you think. Wave, smile, say hello, learn names, strike conversation, let people know who you are. Reach out to others who you know may be a little bit too nervous or scared to reach out to you. A simple hello can eventually turn into a, a really incredible friendship. Um, that you really wouldn't have known otherwise without your initial hello or um, greeting. 
I can't express enough how important it is to love and treat others with respect. You may not have to agree with everyone on everything, um, but that's okay. Uh, just treating everyone with love is really beneficial uh, to you and everyone around. The world looks and feels so much different when you appreciate everything, celebrate life, and love your surroundings. I know it sounds like I'm quoting something super cheesy, but it's really true. When you have a really positive outlook on everything, people will just gravitate more towards you, and uh, it's nice to feel like you're giving people positive energy. Perspective is everything. What you may think about one certain thing someone else can be seeing and thinking about it completely differently due to how they were raised, what experiences they've already had, and just who they are at that point in their life. Consider situations from the perspective of other people involved because you really allow yourself to exercise empathy and put yourself in other people's shoes. And because people don't all have the same perspectives, don't try to change anyone's um, unless they're being harmful or or, you know, really dangerous or scary. Overall, if people just think differently, then just respect that. It is so bright. Senior year. The three most important things for me were it's really crucial to start looking for your passion early on. When I was applying to college, um, so many of my peers I witnessed really were stressing out about what they wanted to do with the next four years of their life. My advice is just to join every club you can, try every elective, take advantage of outside extracurricular activities, play sports, volunteer, just do everything you can to try to dip your toes into potentially finding something that will lead to your future career. And if you don't know what you want to do by that time, it's totally okay. But make sure you try so you have that extra step of knowing, oh, I don't want to do this, or I do want to do this. Cherish every second. Uh, I think this one's pretty self-explanatory for senior year, but really do. It, it really flies, and it's, uh, it's crazy. The last thing um, that I really like is that uh, the biggest creative process you will go through is becoming yourself. It'll take time, and everyone is forced to face the challenge at some point in their life. It's really important to try new things, activities, styles, meet new people, explore new places. All these trial and error runs will help sculpt you into your true self and just make the process easier overall. We really all are our own masterpiece. I think it just takes some initiative and time to figure out what colors suit us best. So that pretty much sums it up for what I learned. Um, again, these are just the things that I found most important. Everyone has a different experience and whatever that is for you, I wish you the best of luck and hope you have a really great time in high school and beyond. Thanks so much for watching. Um, I guess subscribe, because I will be back. <laughs>